Hi, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to match your color. So in this demo example, I have a hummingbird with the uh, statue lion head and the lion statue that came from this guy and the hummingbird head that came from that guy. So one thing that's important is that your file is saved. So just make sure it's saved. File, save as, and you know, this should be my first name, my last name, and this is Myth Creature, um, and this is my source file, and it's a PSD, so I'm going to save it. Another thing that's important is that you label all of your layers. So you can see here, I took some time and I labeled the lion body, the bird head, the bird body, and the lion head. So whatever the parts of your creature are, make sure that um, the layer name isn't layer number 52 or whatever, because this is going to help you out to know what exactly colors you're matching. So let's start with this layer. This is the bird body. I'm going to make sure the bird body is selected. And now I'm going to go to Image Adjustments Match Color. It's going to give me this box. And um, there's a lot of things in here. So the first thing we need to set is the source. The source is asking you from where are you taking the colors. You could take colors from a totally different file that's not even open and put them into a layer in this document. But I want to use the layers within my own document to change the colors. So I'm going to, I just saved it. It's called my name, method creature. And whatever I do, it's going to affect the bird body layer only. So now it's asking me what layer from this source file do I want to use those colors to put into the bird body? So I'm going to take the colors from the lion head layer. So layer lion head, layer lion head, and those colors are going into the bird body. Why? Because the bird body is selected. So whatever layer you want to do something to, that is the one that's selected. And whatever layer you want to take the colors from and put them into something else, that's what you're going to put in the layer. We have some things up here that we can use to adjust that. And you can see that the bird body is now has the colors that are more like the lion head. It's a little more green and metallic-y looking. Um, so I can change the luminescence here. And that's going to kind of change um, that, the color intensity. OK, it doesn't do that much. And fade. OK, so you can adjust uh, according to what you want. Let's see what neutralize does. OK, so when I like it, uh, preview just shows you before, after, right? So I can say, okay, we just worked destructively. All the things I did are now in those pixels, and the only way to change it back is to press undo. So what I suggest is, before you start going crazy, why don't you make a copy of the thing that you're trying to change? A really quick way to make a copy is Command-J. So why don't you add this to your class notebook, Command J on a Mac or Control J on a PC, whatever you're using, is just going to copy and paste all in one key command. So instead of doing Command C, copy, Command B, paste, you can just do one key command. It's very helpful. So now I have my copy. I can hide my copy. And I can do the same thing that I did. Adjustment. 
Um, and this way, the nice thing about having a copy is that if you decide later that you want to start all over again, you have the original there. Um, sometimes I like to put my copies that I'm not using under, at the very, very bottom, under the background. Let's try this one. I want to make the bird head more like the lion. No, I want to make the lion body more like the bird head. So whatever I'm changing, I'm going to select that. Image adjustments, match color. The source is my file that I'm in right now. And I want the bird head and you can see everything got super pink. Say I want to go the other way and I want to make the bird head less pink and more like that one. So same thing. Um, I'm also going to show you how to do this to match your background to your actual um, characters. Okay, so now bird head selected. I'm using lion body and now it's a little more green. Maybe I don't want the color intensity so much and things like that. So you can really adjust things like that. Say I'm happy with my creature and the coloring that happened. I can merge two layers together. How do we merge two layers together? So say we have these two guys. I'm going to select one, press shift, click to select multiple. You can either right click and say merge the layers. That makes it one. Or you can do command E, which is layer merge right here. Command E Mac, Control E PC is merge layer. So add this to your class notebook. Okay, so that's why we've got this guy and it's just one layer. I might want to rename it. This is my creature. Let's call him the lion bird. He's a bit big. We're going to resize it. So command T, command T Mac, control T PC is free transform, which is also edit in edit, free transform. That's where you would find it. And I'm going to go from the corner and press enter when you're finished. So he's very green, but the background is a total other color. And I want to see if I can try to make the background a little bit more um, matching to the sky. So let's highlight the background. We're going to do the same thing. Image, adjustments, match the color. We're in this layer. And... Let's see what is the layer it's using. So I renamed it Lion Bird. Um, did I? Okay, let's see what. So Lion Bird is here. Oh. So, okay, actually, this is a whole new document, which is why these layers are totally different from the layers that are there. So one thing is just you know, figure out which file you're in. Um, and then, so now this should have my layers, lion, bird. And now this is pretty vibrant and crazy colors, sort of similar to the lion hummingbird dude. So I can change the color intensity if I want. Um, luminescence, okay, and maybe, okay. 
All right, and then I like that, so I'll say okay. So that is how you use image adjustment match color to change a layer using the colors from another layer or the colors from a totally different document.